graphing a line given its equation in standard form. So my instructions say graph the line and then I have an equation here, x minus y equals 4. Now this equation is in what we call standard form, okay, which means the x and the y are together on one side of the equation, usually they're on the left like this, and then my constant term or just plain old number with no variables, no x's or y's, uh, is on the other side of the equals. Usually it's on the right like this, but it could be flip-flopped, okay? The quickest, easiest way to graph a line in standard form is to use the intercepts, the x and the y intercepts. Now, for the y intercept, right, this is my y axis and this one over here is my x axis. Um, for the y intercept or the place where the graph will cross the y axis, my x will always be zero because I'm right on the y-axis. I haven't moved to the left or to the right yet, okay? So x is zero, which means I can zero out or just kind of block out the x term with my finger and look at what's left. What's left is negative y equals four, okay? So if I zero out or get rid of the x term, I'm left with that negative y equals 4. So I just need to solve this for y. So to get rid of that negative, remember that's really negative 1y, right? There's kind of uh, an implied or imaginary one there. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negatives cancel. So positive y will equal to 4 divided by negative 1 or negative so my y-intercept is at negative 4. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a dot on the y-axis at negative 4. Now, my x-intercept is going to be right on the x-axis. Where does the line cross the x-axis? And on the x-axis, y will always be 0, because I haven't gone up or down at all, right? I'm just right on the x-axis. So this time, I'm going to kind of block out or zero out the y term. So if you kind of mentally ignore the y term, what's left of my equation is x equals 4. Okay, and I don't even need to do any solving there because, right, it's already solved for x. x is equal to positive 4. So my x-intercept, 1, 2, 3, 4, is at positive 4. And once I have two lines, or two dots, I can go ahead and line up my ruler and draw in my line. If I wanted a few more dots, right, to just make my line accurate, I know to get from one dot to the next, I have to go up four, over four. So I could do that again if I wanted to. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't have to, okay? And if I wanted some dots back here, I could reverse it down four, one, two, three, four, back four, one, two, three, four, and put dots back here, okay? Um, I would only add additional dots if I was graphing by hand like I am, and I wanted to just make sure that my line was really accurate. Uh, but you, at a minimum, need at least two dots to line up your line, but there's my graph.